Designing for multiple devices when it comes to the web has gotten a lot easier in Dreamweaver CS 5.5. Before you'd have to, you'd had your one preview when you were working on a document, and even though you were adding multiple media queries and all this nice code in order to make this one page display differently depending on your devices, it was very hard to preview this. It took a long while. Um, to get there, but I'm glad to say that inside of DreamWorks CS 5.5, they've introduced something called multi-screen display. So you have it right up here where you've got the code split view, live code, live view. You've also got multi-screen. Now, this document that I have right now only has one media query, so it's only got the display you see right now. But what you can do is open up the multi-screen preview and we're in a landscape orientation right here. And by default, it's going to go to a default phone, 320 by 300 display here. And you can see exactly how that's going to look. It's going to show me a tablet display and also the desktop display at the bottom. But what I can do now is customize the way I preview this. So if I click on the viewport sizes button, what I can do is select which size is my phone going to be, my tablet going to be, and my desktop going to be. Now, the most common here is that you do want to just retain the width here. So the width is what's important. The height is not that important because you just see at least a little bit here. If you'd like, and now I'm on a small screen, so that's what's keeping me back here. But what if, you, if you'd wanted to, you could add the same width and height as your actual device in terms of height as well. So if I want to edit, maybe my, my tablet here is not 768 pixels, it's actually 1024. So I just say 1024, click OK, and I'm getting my wider tablet here. So it's fully interactive. I can click on these pages. I can interact with them in any way that I would want to do on a regular computer. So. What I can also do is link up media queries. So if I click edit media queries, I can now from this page say that I've got a site web media queries file, or just write it to this document. And I can also go ahead here and link in the different media queries. So I can say that this is going to be targeting, say, the iPad. And I can say min width is going to be 1024. And now that's going to also affect right now any device with 1024. So I should say smaller than, whoops, than 1020, whoops, 1024 pixels. So it's going to be min width 1024. Actually, you do max width 1024. And we do min width something like 360. So if it's wider than 360, we can present something else, right? And now we present this. And you see the media query evolving right here, which you might consider is adding some device-specific tags to make sure you don't target browsers, but you also only target devices. But this is a very neat way of easily creating your media queries and previewing them in the multi-screen preview. 